if someone's out there. <laughs> I mean, their body was found there. It was like someone is in the toilet staring at us at all times. Can you say my name? Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I am currently in a supposedly haunted hotel in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm gonna be staying here tonight to conduct some experiments and investigations to find out if the Baiki Sky Hotel is truly haunted. So before we get into exploring the Bayouki Sky Hotel or doing any investigations, I wanted to give you a little bit of background information about the ghost stories and the history of this place so we can understand why many people believe that this is one of the most haunted hotels in Bangkok, Thailand. So this hotel is a whopping 88 stories high and it is not only one of the tallest buildings in Bangkok, Thailand, it's one of the tallest in Southeast Asia. It was built back in 1997 and it does have a very dark moment in its past that has led many people to believe this is why the hotel is haunted. A lot of websites have said that during its construction there was a terrible accident where some workers fell from the building and died. I did some research and I found that this wasn't actually during construction. It was a couple of years later in 2012. There was a terrible accident where five workers were putting up advertising banners on the side of the hotel. The platform that they were standing on snapped in half. Three of the five fell to their deaths with two sustaining minor injuries, surviving because they were able to grab onto and hang off of the platform that snapped until they could be rescued. These men fell from a pretty great distance. They fell from the 68th story and one landed on a balcony below, one landed near the swimming pool and one landed on a mini golf course driving range that is set up here at the hotel. Their deaths are one of the reasons that many people say that this hotel is haunted and I am about to read you out a string of reviews that people have left online about this hotel all containing the keyword haunted and all suggesting that there may be ghostly activity here at this hotel. Alright guys these are reviews that people have left about this hotel on the internet so please remember to take them with a grain of salt. Some of them I'm gonna say they're a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> uh, for Jared and I, we have been traveling a lot and many of you may not know, we do not live a glamorous lifestyle. We don't live in beautiful, lovely hotels like this one all the time. A lot of the time we're staying in dormitory style backpacker hostels. And I'll tell you what, this place is really lovely and really nice. So I'm not saying, not condoning these reviews. But here we have a one star review titled Haunted and Worst Hotel to Stay in Bangkok. I'm not even going to read the whole thing to you because it's basically an essay. <laughs> and this woman, just to summarize, was very unhappy with basically every aspect of her check-in and her stay. She was here for her honeymoon and it's a little bit humorous to be honest. So. She wasn't happy with the floor that she was put on and then asked to speak to a manager who put her on a taller floor. And then she got a little bit annoyed that she was put in a haunted room. So let me get to the haunted bit. At first we were very grateful to the arrangements that she had did till we found out that our room was actually haunted. This was truly a big surprise for us. The moment we step out from the lift, the entire hallway to the room was dark. There are not sufficient lights installed and it felt eerie. We're not trying to be superstitious, but the moment when we enter our room, 6203, we could not help but sense that there was an unpleasant smell, which we could not explain, and it is in the bathroom. <laughs> Seriously, we do not really dare to use the bathroom by ourselves as the toilet was very dark, especially behind the toilet door where the bathtub is. 
It was like someone is in the toilet staring at us at all times. Not just the bathroom was creepy, but also the dressing table that was facing the bed. We never touch anything on the dressing table and not even move or sit at the dressing chair. But when we came back after our night shopping, the chair was not in its original position. The holder pad was placed on the table where it previously was not. It really freaked us out as we remembered very, very clearly that we never touch anything in the room at all before we went out. So we decided to call the reception and request for a change of room, but was told that they were fully booked. Without any choices, my husband and I had to endure to stay till we check out. In order to ease our sleep, we put a towel to cover the dressing table mirror. In total, it was a horrible experience for our honeymoon celebration and we will not stay or recommend anyone to stay at this hotel, ever. So one of the supposed haunted activities activities that happens at this hotel is things moving around on their own within rooms especially when people leave they come back and objects have moved so we're actually going to set some things up later and try a little experiment with that one all right so i've got another one here this is titled scary haunted hotel but they rated it a little bit better two stars there was a case where a few people died in this hotel saw strands of hair in the toilet sink upon checking into the room the feeling and aura was just bad. However, there is a convenient store and it is near the night markets. So all good then. This next one is another two star. I'll skip the part about this person getting into a fight with a Thai family and being punched by a woman in the airline. <laughs> Third of all, I've read stories about the Bayoki sky being haunted. So I didn't sleep well at night because I was too scared. Definitely not going back there again. All right, here we have another two star titled tool, but nothing special and I don't trust the staff. They have six points here. The first five are basically them being paranoid about having their um, things gone through, um, staff entering the room or moving their stuff about. But number six is what I'm interested in. Around 3 a.m. while we were packing, we heard a car pass by our room. Some say the hotel is haunted or maybe there really was a maintenance going around the floor. Uh, this next one is a positive one. It's four star, must stay, thumbs up. Before I went, I read up on an article of people saying it's haunted, but nothing like that. It was safe and felt very comfortable. So that's good. Okay, this next one is another four star hotel. Uh, they did like their stay here. It is titled Modern Haunted Mansion. Okay, so this first part is all quite positive about their stay. And then they write, but there's a catch. Big bathroom, complete amenities, and wide honeymoon room aside, my brother met uninvited guests during our stay. From shower that suddenly turned on to knocking on toilet door in the middle of the night. He stayed at 41st and moved to 44th floor during that time, but it happened in both rooms. We have another positive one here. It's actually a five out of five. This uh, dude says, I cannot get over the hotel, although some of my friends keep telling me that this place is haunted, but I never sense or experience anything paranormal there. I have another one. Everything was great at this hotel, wondering why I said it is haunted. The buffet area, it got pretty crowded. Rooms are a bit dated and halls are a bit creepy. Some say it's haunted. Another one. Bed was not comfy at all. The room seemed haunted and stinky. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love reading reviews. Another one, two out of five. Haunted place, never going there again. Got another one. 5 out of 10, plus for location, minus for haunted. And we got another one here, look like haunted. So we have quite a few reviews here. None of them seem overly substantial or convincing to me that this place is haunted. It always makes me wonder how this folklore and these rumors and these legends about places develop. The main paranormal occurrences or ghost stories uh, from this place are objects moving around the room on their own accord, usually not sighted by people, but usually when they come back, they notice things have been moved. And then we've also got the sighting of shadow people or shadow figures. So I think it's gonna be an interesting place to check out. We're definitely gonna be doing some investigating in the room, in the lobby, and maybe a little bit of exploring of the hotel. This place is massive and it has a little bit of everything. So it's kind of a cool place to see here in Bangkok, Thailand. It has a great view too.
be higher in this one. It's at, at the time this place was built, it was the highest building in Southeast Asia. It's not anymore though, but it's bloody high. It makes me feel, I don't know, I don't like kites that much. We're pretty much at the top at the bar, just waiting for a drink. And if I just look over, oh. And this is the very top. It has an observation deck and I think it's supposed to revolve, but it isn't. <laughs> and yeah, we're right at the top. All right guys, I'm gonna give you a real quick tour of 2509. This is where we are staying tonight. Sounds really echoey out there. So that is the supposedly very creepy, dimly lit and eerie corridor. Um, and this is the creepy rooms that are supposed to be haunted. First thing, well, first thing this place is freaking massive. This is like the biggest room that we've stayed in this whole trip. We even have, we have a closet which we're using as a bag room. So our backpacks are just thrown in there. But that bag room is bigger than some of the rooms that we have stayed in on our trip. So it's always like a treat staying in these cool haunted hotels and we splurge for it. Just uploading, well exporting, sorry, my Bangered Fort video, which you guys hopefully have watched by now. Um, but anyway, I want to show you in the bathroom because there was some comments made in those reviews that I spoke about earlier about it being creepy in here and people feeling as though they're being watched and I don't know, I don't really get the vibe. They say it was creepy and dark behind the door. I'm sure if I turn the light off it's going to be, but I mean that's not too bad. It's pretty large and pretty nice bathroom if I'm being honest. There is a weird smell though. So, I give the reviews that. You guys can't smell it, but it smells a little bit like drain. Um, so, bed over here, we have the view, if you come here. So you can see all the freeways in the city, and if you look down, this is actually a golf driving range almost like a mini golf and you, you know, putt your, or hit your balls out there. I don't know much about golf, obviously. But interestingly, that area there is actually where one of the people who fell and died while working here, I mean, their body was found there. So one was found there. One was found, you actually can't see it because they've turned all the lights off for the night, but just to the side, of this a couple of stories up is the pool area that is where another of the bodies was found and then the third body was found a couple of stories above us on a balcony so i mean this was the side of the hotel that that terrible accident happened uh, and it's kind of creepy to know that and look out the window and see it right there and i'm pretty sure I mean, that's it. That, I guess that's it for the tour. We got the bed over here. It is a nice, soft, cushy bed. And I mean, hopefully, there's no specific haunted floor. There's no specific haunted room. Hopefully we have a haunted one. <laughs> we are gonna try and reach out um, and try and communicate nonetheless, and see if we are able to pick up anything. And I mean, because I'm always skeptical about investigating and the paranormal, I'm not going to be able to say at the end of this video haunted or not, but we may as well check it out and it is kind of a cool hotel for us to stay in at least. So, Alright guys, I'm in the Bayoki Sky Hotel, which is supposedly the most haunted hotel in Bangkok, Thailand. And I'm going to try and reach out on the spirit box in the room that I am staying in. 
I'm going to reach out speaking Thai, which is a language I do not speak. Uh, so please be forgiving of my poor pronunciation. But I figure if there are spirits here, it's it seems most likely that they would respond to and actually speak Thai. Sua di Tan Chi Amy. Hello, my name is Amy. Hi, Dai Mai. Can you talk to me? Tell me your name. Tom? Tom Nighter to me. Why are you here? Dai Mai, can you say my name? Amy. interesting I do feel like there was a deeper male voice sort of coming through then and there was a couple of voices that almost seemed to form words uh, whether they were in Thai or just sounded a bit kind of English to me because that's the only language I speak I do not know if you do speak Thai and you noticed any words or phrases or anything that sounded in particular relevant to what I was trying to ask feel free to drop them in the comments for me I always love to hear from you guys with translations especially all right we're just about to venture out into the hallway and did you bring a card no and that's how we get locked out of our hotel room I don't know 
fucking kidding me? I don't have a card. Well, I definitely don't have one. We'll have to go down to reception. Anyway. For sake. Alright. I'm blaming you for this. <laughs> Anyways, this is the hallway. And it was mentioned in some of the reviews as feeling eerie, creepy. Maybe these mirrors have something to do with it because... I feel people always get creeped out by mirrors and this has quite a few mirrors scattered about. table has duck stuck to it. Alright, let's go down. Alright guys, so we've made it back to our room now. And I want to show you this setup and be very careful not to touch it. So one of the commonly reported things here at the hotel is guests leaving and then when they come back or even whilst they are in the room, things will get moved around. And we've set up a little table here, like a little shrine, and I've put a random assortment of items here. Different objects, different weights, uh, shapes, sizes, whatever. So we've got, you know, a paper coaster, a skull earring, a book so they're all going to be a little bit different and I've taken an exact photo of this so I know how everything's sitting everything's sort of like out and we're going to keep this like this all night and just check it in the morning and I realize um, there's a lot of rooms in this hotel uh, I also realize we have a lot of stuff laying around our room that could potentially move if that is something that the ghosts here do. But we want to reach out and try and ask them to move anything on this table if they can do that, you know? So it's a little experiment, um, something different, and we may as well try it while we're here. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're ready to try and reach out and see if there's any spirits around that could potentially maybe move some of the objects on this table. I'm going to reach out in Thai as well as English. I obviously don't speak Thai and it's actually quite a difficult language for me to pronunciate. So I have a Google Translate set up on my laptop and I'm actually just gonna play the inbuilt voice for the translations from my computer rather than trying to pronounce it myself like I usually do in my videos. While we do that, Jared's gonna try and focus on the table filming that I actually don't expect anything to happen. I would be so shocked and surprised if anything did move on there. But we're going to give it a crack anyway and we will leave those items there all night and assess them in the morning too. So I'm just going to reach out. Hello, my name is Amy. So what the tattoo Amy? Is there anyone here? Me cry to me, my. Can you communicate? Kun samat su san dai mai. Can you move something on this table? Can you move something Let us know you are here. Tell us that you are here.
please move any object. Can you give us a sign you are here? คุณสามารถให้สัญญาณคุณกับเราได้ไหม We mean you no harm. We would just like to know if someone is here with us. เราหมายถึงคุณไม่เป็นอันตรายเราแค่อยากจะรู้ว่ามีใครบางคนอยู่ที่นี่กับเรา We will be here all night. Feel free to communicate or move one of these objects at any time. เราจะอยู่ที่นี่ทั้งคืนรู้สึกอิสระที่จะสื่อสารหรือย้ายวัตถุเหล่านี้ได้ตลอดเวลา Thank you ขอบคุณ Okay guys b u t n e s we got a nice quiet room I'm gonna reach out and do an EVP session. I'm gonna be talking in English and playing the Thai translations again off of uh, my computer. Hello, is there anyone in this room with me? สวัสดีมีใครในห้องนี้ที่อยู่กับฉันไหม Can you come close and say something to me? คุณเข้ามาใกล้และพูดอะไรกับฉันได้ไหม Can you make a noise like this for me? คุณส่งเสียงแบบนี้ให้ฉันได้ไหม Can you give us any sign that you are around? คุณให้สัญญาณกับเราว่าคุณอยู่ใกล้ๆได้ไหม Can you tell me your name or anything about yourself? คุณสามารถบอกชื่อคุณหรืออะไรเกี่ยวกับตัวคุณได้บ้าง I actually feel nothing in this hotel room. I visited a lot of supposedly haunted places, and this place doesn't have a creepy, scary vibe to it at all. Not that I think spirits are necessarily creepy or scary, but. That's what a lot of people have described this place as. What do you think, Jared? It seems like a regular hotel to me. <laughs> I knew you would say that. It seems like a. I've enjoyed playing golf and swimming in the pool. Yeah, for us, it's been really nice to stay here. I'll, I'll say that. I don't get the creepy vibe here, though. 
did just hear a noise, but I think that's just another guest opening their door. But it is like, what is it? Quarter past one in the morning. Go see if someone's out there. <laughs> Seems pretty regular out there. I think I'm gonna wrap up this EVP session. If there is anyone in this room with us, thank you. And we'll review that footage later when we're editing this video together. All right guys, we didn't really pick up on anything moving or anything weird happening we will be reviewing all that footage for things like evps though but it's getting pretty late so i think that we're going to go to bed just leave this table completely as be and check on it in the morning i've got a couple of photographs of it so i'll know exactly if anything has moved um but yeah i'm not too optimistic that we're going to wake up and there's gonna be things moved everywhere around the room, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, just got up this morning and this all looks to be in order. I don't think we got any <laughs> ghostly movement on any of these items last night. Which is kind of nice since we were asleep in this room, but I wish something moved. That would have been cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're after a little bit more reading on this haunted location or others that I have visited, head to amyscrypt.com. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.